Okay, please bear with me. I'm trying to do this video and I've done it over and over, but I want to get all the information out there. Um, this is very important for everybody to listen to. Everybody, <sighs> not just MSers. I went for my infusion for my MS um, about a month ago. And the nurse told me, you really need to see a doctor. Please promise me you're going to call your doctor. And she looked so serious. And I said, yeah, I'll get in for an appointment right away, but why? And she said, your blood pressure is really high, and I don't know if it's just because you're scared, but you need to go into the doctor. This ain't normal. I said, okay. So when I, well, that week I was trying to call doctors, and Anthem really needs to fix their site because under PCP, every doctor that I called was for addiction or therapists or physical therapy or whatever. So I got a hold of a few doctors anyway. Nobody ever called me back. Um, I told them that it was for high blood pressure, very high blood pressure, and they wouldn't call me back. What I used to think when my chest hurt was, um, it's the MS. It's just the hug. I've been to the hospital before for it and they assure me that it's just the hug. So I wasn't feeling good all day. I was getting blurry vision, shaky, um, really weak legs. I was tired. I've been sleeping a whole lot lately. I thought it was the MS and it wasn't. I lay down and I could usually feel my heart beating when I lay down, like pretty hard. This time, it, when I was laying down for a while, it kind of just felt like it stopped and I felt real empty, if that makes sense. It felt really empty, it felt like it stopped and then I start having a hard time breathing. So I sat up, checked my blood pressure, thank God we have one, a blood pressure machine, and it was 205 over 130. So I freaked out and told my husband we need to go to the ER now. Um, we made it to the e ER. They gave me an EKG. That was clear. So they dropped my blood pressure with medications and stuff and gave me a prescription and told me to see a certain doctor, you know, as soon as I can. So I made that appointment. I'll be seeing that doctor. But the moral of the story is do not assume that it's your stomach problems giving you indigestion do not assume that it's ms if you are feeling that bad go to the hospital please i was in denial thinking oh it'll just stay at 160 over 90 like it always is but no it went sky high and i could have had a stroke or a heart attack watch yourself please